Hi, thanks for visiting with me. I appreciate when you take the time to watch and comment on my videos, and please stay tuned until the end of this video for an exciting announcement. Are you looking for a relationship? If you want to be in a relationship, have you thought about why? As a relationship coach, one of the first things I discuss with a client is what they want and what it will mean for them when they get it. So imagine that you come to my office and I ask you, why do you want to be in a relationship? What would you say? If you ask people why they want a relationship, many will say things like, I want someone to love me and make me feel special and worthy. I don't want to be alone and lonely anymore. I want to have children, or I want to feel safe and secure. What they might not say or even know about themselves is that they want a relationship to fill the empty place within them or complete them. They hope that their partner will give them what they're not giving themselves and what they might not have received as children. They want to feel taken care of emotionally, financially, or sexually. Do any of these reasons come to mind for you? Do these sound like strong, positive reasons to desire relationships? Let's turn things around a little and imagine that instead of a relationship, my client said he wants to have a child, and I asked, what would it mean for you to have a child? If he gave these same answers, how would it sound? I want a child so I will have someone to love me and make me feel special and worthy, and I won't be alone and lonely anymore. I want a child to fill the empty place inside and complete me. Do you hear what I hear? This man is expecting too much from a partner. No other person can fill the empty space inside of us and make us complete. We have to do that for ourselves. So what would be a better, stronger, and more positive response to that question? What would it mean for you to be in a relationship? There are many compelling reasons to want a relationship. And here are seven of them. Number one, being in a relationship is good for your health. Statistics show that married people live longer than unmarried people, and they have higher happiness levels. Number two, dual earning. Healthy couples create more opportunity, money, and fun. When you have someone by your side who is striving for the same goals, they are attained much more easily. Number three, relationships can help us be our best selves. Often, we have the energy to do things for others that we wouldn't do for ourselves. Love is powerful, and your partner can bring out the best in you. Number four, you can get more done when you have a partner. Sometimes it's a matter of motivation. Other times, it's just nice to have company. Whatever the reason, four hands can get more done than two. Number five, having someone who knows you deeply is validating. This is the gift of knowing that the wonderful things you do are not going unnoticed, and it gives you more reason to do them. Number six, romance creates warmth, hope, and happiness. The more you have, the more you'll enjoy your life. Having a hand to hold as you go through life makes the difficulties we all experience easier to deal with. When things go wrong, knowing that your mate has your back will help you get through whatever you have to and come out the other side a more positive person. Number seven is life-affirming and all-encompassing and perhaps the best reason of all to desire a relationship. That is to learn more about myself, grow as a person, and give love and support to someone who loves and supports me in return. Relationships are the most fertile ground for learning about what is wounded within us, and for having a safe space to heal. Most of us have baggage from our childhood that we carry into our primary relationships, such as fears of rejection, abandonment, and loss of self. These fears generally may be worked out with a partner, which offers us an incredible opportunity to learn about and heal them. A relationship can provide great motivation for personal growth. Learning about fears of intimacy, as well as about control issues that may surface with a primary partner, can lead to learning and growing as a person and enhancing our ability to love. 
The more you learn to take responsibility for your own feelings, such as learning to love yourself and feel special and valued, the more you may want a relationship to share your love rather than to get love. Contrary to what many believe, it's not receiving love that takes away loneliness. It's sharing your love with another that does that. The most profound and beautiful experience in life is the opportunity to share love. But we can't share our love unless we are first filled with love. When we learn to fill ourselves with love from our source, whatever that is for each person, such as nature, spirit, God, or the energy of the universe, then we come to our partner with inner fullness rather than with inner emptiness. We share from our abundance or overflow. That way, rather than needing a partner to complete us, we want to share our completeness with our partner. When two people come together to get love, rather than to learn, heal, and share love, there is a strong possibility that their relationship won't last. With both partners trying to get loved and filled by the other, and neither one having learned to love and fill themselves, each will ultimately be disappointed. Very often, one or both might believe they've picked the wrong partner. When two people come together because they want to learn together, grow together, heal together, share their time and companionship, and share their love and passion, they have a good chance of creating a lasting, loving relationship. When these people are asked why they want a relationship, they'll say, I have a lot of love to give, and I want to share it with a partner who also has a lot of love to give. Possibly, we might want to have children to love as well. I want to learn and grow with someone who also wants to learn and grow. Or, I want to share time, companionship, lovemaking, laughter, and play with someone and feel a deep connection. Look deeply inside now and honestly ask yourself why you want a relationship. And if you find that you just want to be loved, remember you can learn to love and fill yourself with love so that you have plenty of love to share with a partner. It's important to realize that we attract people who are most like us in thought and belief patterns. And that means we'll end up with a person who is at the same level of taking personal responsibility for their happiness and well-being as we are. Or they may be at the level of giving up on themselves, which includes making someone else responsible for their feelings. Given this reality, you have a far better chance of creating a healthy and loving relationship with a partner when you have a healthy and loving relationship with yourself. I'd love to know your answer to the question, what would being in a relationship mean for you? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up. Oh, remember that exciting announcement I promised? Starting the first week of June, I'll be changing from releasing a pre-recorded video on YouTube every Thursday morning to a live presentation followed by a Q&A with those who show up to participate in the live chat on Thursday evenings. So be sure to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I go live or upload a new video and share this video with your friends. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side Hi, thanks for visiting with me. I appreciate you when you... Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, got that out of my system.